and uh, welcome back to the second um, instalment of my library tour. Um, I'm going to be carrying on with the, uh, the fiction books uh, up on the top shelf here um, and uh, this will probably be the, uh, the first video where I um, maybe skim over um, some books because there are quite a few I haven't read and quite a few that aren't really my books because um, uh, um, you know my wife's books are uh, are, are in here too and there are areas where our, our tastes um, sort of come together uh, but um, also there's lots of stuff that you know I read that she doesn't read and stuff she reads I don't read and um, so I'll probably skim over them I'll still show them um, but um, yeah I, I won't you know talk about them that much um, but yeah so um, if you don't know uh, if you didn't watch the first video um, I'm going to be moving house soon and um, I thought I'd do a little library tour before uh, we move and then afterwards um, I'll do another library tour uh, just showing how I've rearranged them um, or I should say we um, because yeah I won't be doing it by myself um, and um, yeah so I thought I'd just show you the state they're in at the moment um, and uh, yeah e even if you don't find it interesting I'll, I'll probably find it interesting to see um, how they how they change uh, how well, how it's changed. So here we go. Um, this is uh, sort of modern and modernist fiction part two. So I'll move to behind the camera um, and let's just get into it. So first up we have the Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. Um, solid novel, I think. Um, I can remember reading this on a uh, on a narrowboat uh, holiday with my family. Uh, with my parents and siblings, and uh, uh, yeah, it was quite um, quite a claustrophobic um, experience. Um, but uh, yeah, enjoyed the novel. Pre prefer her poetry, but um, it's still a, a good a good novel. Then uh, a good man is hard to find by Flannery O'Connor, one of my favourite um, short story uh, collections, um, uh, along with um, uh, Borges's fictions. Um, over there, you can just about see it, which we uh, looked at last week. Also, apologise. Uh, I should apologise for um, butchering his name. Uh, the only language I can speak that isn't English is Welsh, and it's, it's just so guttural. Uh, there's lots of <laughs> and <laughs> noises in Welsh, um, and um, yeah, I don't know for some reason my my, my mouth and my throat gravitate to those noises <laughs> um, with, with uh, Spanish and stuff like that, and it just doesn't work. Uh, but anyway, we have um, Carson McCullough's uh, The Ballad of the Sad Café, um, and um, again, I love this story. I'm not sure if you call it um, a story, a short story, or a novella. Let's have a look inside. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, it's pro I guess it's a, a fairly long short story, like 70 pages, 69 pages, something like that. And there's some other stories in there as well, uh, but I can only really remember the title story. Uh, John Dos Passos, Manhattan Transfer. Probably uh, my favourite um, sort of modernist um, stream of consciousness um, style book. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, and, uh, do a uh, reread. And some Toni Morrison, The Bluest Eye. Uh, this has such an amazing uh, and devastating uh, final chapter. Um, yeah, I, I'd recommend this book highly. Um, but I'd also really recommend this book too. Another Toni Morrison, um, Song of Solomon. Um, and again, such a strong ending. Um, one of the best and most memorable books um, I've read. Um, um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say, but um, I'd highly recommend that too. Then we have To Kill a Mockingbird, Harper Lee, uh, which to my shame I haven't read yet, um, but um, I've seen the film and enjoyed it, and uh, maybe later this year. Then we have Daniel Mason, The uh, Piano Tuner. Um, I don't really know much about this book or about this author, it was just a bit of an impulse buy in a second-hand bookshop, um, and I know the synopsis must have seemed interesting at the time, but I haven't read it yet. Then we have *The Age of Innocence* by Edith Wharton. Um, 
a very cool cover and um, yeah I'm thinking about dipping my toe into uh, Edith Wharton's um, writing um, which I'll get on to later um, and then there's the thing about Around Your Neck by uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie um, I think I think that's how you say her name Apologise um, Apologies if I've uh, butchered it um, this is a collection of short stories uh, which um, I'm afraid at least for me weren't very memorable um, and kind of put me off uh, short stories for a long time then we have Eugene O'Neill again I'm not sure what this is doing here um, since this is um, a collection of you know, two plays in one volume um, but um, I've only read The Emperor Jones um, I haven't read Anna Christie yet uh, but um, I think they're both quite controversial in their time and um, yeah, but, um, both seem very interesting. Uh, then we have The Enchanted April uh, by uh, Elizabeth von Arnim. Um, and this is a book that my uh, my wife bought and read and really enjoyed. And um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to uh, read this uh, at some point soon. And um, yeah, see what I think of it. Think of it, sorry. <laughs> then the, the rest of this stack, we have some Angela Carter books. Um, Angela Carter... I kind of keep forgetting, but um, is one of my favourite writers. Uh, this is the Bloody Chamber, so sort of subversive rereadings of fairy tales. Then we have um, Wise Children, uh, which is a novel about two twins who were chorus girls, and it's kind of them in their old age telling us um, about their life. Uh, then we have uh, Nights at the Circus. Um, which is my favourite of her novels um, and it's about a woman who is uh, part human, part swan um, and it's yeah, it's just so um, it's just so funny and, and entertaining and outrageous um, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed this and then we have here I'm just going to pop the camera in the corner and this is her fairy tales Angela Carter's book of fairy tales which I haven't uh, bought yet, but um, maybe when I um, yeah, when we reorganise the bookcase, I will um, try to put it somewhere where you can see a bit more of it because um, it does look really cool. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure how long it'll take for me to read that cover to cover, but um, uh, yeah, it's a cool book to have. And I'll just move all these bookmarks and things out of the way and uh, move this pile out. I'll just skim over this pile, uh, but there are some little books of interest on top. Uh, these are these sort of, you know, these little cheap um, mini penguin black classic things with um, and then this that came in it with a newspaper and uh, it's a Faber story. So this is um, Mary Ventura and the Ninth Kingdom by Sylvia Plath. Uh, which is, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this story. Um, I prefer it to the Bell Jar, uh, but much prefer her poetry uh, to her prose. Then we have um, Henry James, The Beast in the Jungle, um, which I think it's funny that it's right next to um, Sylvia Plath here because um, it's a book that, or a story that really um, influenced her. Uh, and then we have Jared Manley Hopkins, um, sort of some of his poetry and journal entries. Um, then this is the saga of Gunlog Serpent Tongue. Haven't read this yet, uh, but it's um, yeah, this, yeah, should be fun. <laughs> then we have the Reckoning by Edith Wharton. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, I, I'm, I'm hoping to sort of dip into uh, Edith Wharton's um, writing, and uh, so I'll probably read this and. Um, and then go on to the Age of Innocence, uh, but you never know, I might do it the other way around. Then we have Christina Rossetti, Goblin Market, um, great sort of long poem, um, lots of fun, um, although disturbing in its own way. Then we have Emily Bronte, uh, The Night is Darkening Round Me, uh, just a little uh, collection of some of her poems, um, which I love. Then we have Richard Hacklett, Voyage of Sir Francis Drake around the whole globe, um, and I haven't uh, read all of this yet, um, but um, yeah, that should be fun. And then another two that I just bought out of curiosity and haven't read yet: uh, O Cruel Alexis by Virgil, 
this is just a kind of sampling um, of his um, sort of shorter stuff from his uh, Ecologues and Georgics, as you can see. Um, and um, yeah, I was just curious about Virgil and yeah, bought it to sort of sample some of his writing. And then this is Rilke, Letters to a Young Poet. Um, I've read um, most of his um, poetry, at least in translation. <laughs> I don't speak German. Um, and um, yeah, just wanted to read that. Um, and then yeah, I'll just kind of uh, just show the spines here. Uh, so, because I haven't read many of these, this is The Phone Box at the End of the World by Laura by Messina. Um, yep, I haven't read that. Guernsey, the Guernsey Literary and Potato Peels Pie Society, uh, which I have read and enjoyed, uh, and the film's pretty good too. Then we have A Thousand Splendid Sons, I haven't read that. Um, Elegance of the Hedgehog, I haven't read that, but it sounds quite fun and uh, or at least interesting, and yeah, might enjoy that. We have a woman, woman of war. Yeah, probably won't read that. Um, My family and other animals uh, by Gerald Durrell. The last song by Nicholas Sparks. Jojo Moyes, Me Before You. Yeah, probably not in a rush to read that. Um, although I have seen the film. Um, the Wisdom of Sally Red Shoes and the Keeper of Lost Things by uh, Ruth Hogan, who's um, an author my wife really enjoys. Um, and then we have uh, Vanessa Green. The Seafront Tea Rooms, which, to be honest, I couldn't tell you a lot about. Um, so, yeah, that's them, the sort of more, I don't know, contemporary adult fiction. Um, and then just on top of this Jane Austen pile, we have uh, Oscar and Lucinda by Peter Carey and uh, Belle, The True Story of Dido Bell by uh, Paula Byrne, uh, which, um, yeah, we're sort of second-hand purchases from uh, me and uh, my, by me and my wife and uh, we, we didn't know where to put them so they've just been shoved on top of uh, our little Jane Austen shrine um, yeah and as you can see we've got um, sort of a few duplicates of uh, Jane Austen's books um, but yeah I'll quickly go through them uh, we have Jane Austen, <laughs> uh, Lazy, Lady Susan, The Watsons and uh, Sanderson so sort of some of the shorter and uh, Unfinished Works, um, The History of England by a partal, Partial Prejudiced and Ignorant Historian, uh, which is just a, a silly historical tract. This is my old um, edition of Pride and Prejudice, which I've tried to repair with um, masking tape. Um, and then these are all my wife's matching Everyman Library, um, Jane Austen editions, so we have Northanger Abbey, um, Persuasion, uh, which is my favourite Jane Austen novel, um, Emma, which I read recently but didn't particularly um, enjoy, um, didn't hate it, just uh, didn't love it as much as uh, her other novels, Mansfield Park, um, which, yeah, I love this cover, and I might read that for Jane Austen July, uh, but um, or I'll be reading Sense and Sensibility. Um, because I, I haven't read either of those. Um, and then last in this um, matching set is uh, Pride and Prejudice again. And then here's my old edition of Persuasion, which is the edition that I read when I read it. And my uh, Penguin edition of Northanger Abbey. Uh, which, um, yeah, it's weird. I don't always laugh out loud at books, but... Um, yeah, I, I tend to laugh quite a lot when I read Jane Austen. Um, here's my old edition of Sense and Sensibility, uh, which I still haven't read, but um, yeah, there you go. And then another edition of Pride and Prejudice. It's the same um, same text um, and everything. It's the original, but it's just got this. Um, this is the Lizzie Bennet Diaries edition. Um, so essentially... Um, they were sort of adapted into YouTube vlogs, um, and it was yeah, it was quite funny. Um, I think it's still on YouTube, and you can watch it. Um, and it's yeah, I quite enjoyed it. Um, so anyway, uh, there you have it. Um, that's um, that's one shelf down. Um, so uh, next time I'll move down. We have some classic literature down here. Um, so that will be next week. Um, but yeah, or whenever I put it up. Um, but um, yeah, there you go. Thanks very much for watching. 
Um, I should say, if there are any books I've brought up in these videos uh, that you've enjoyed or any authors um, that you uh, have read and enjoyed, any recommendations, uh, anything like that, uh, feel free uh, to mention them in the comments. Um, but for now, uh, thank you very much for watching um, and I um, hope you're doing well. Alright, bye bye.